Dental decay, also known as caries, is the most common dental complaint and also the primary cause of tooth loss. Caries is a problem that can be tackled at all stages. It is best tackled at the earliest stage as the treatment remains simple. As the caries gets more extensive, the treatment options also become more and more complicated. Any residual food left behind on the tooth surface leads to a collection of bacteria and then an acid attack which can lead to the start of dental decay. It has to be understood that food can be in the form of a solid or even a liquid. A coating of milk on the tooth surface can be potentially more harmful than a solid piece of food adhering or stuck in a small crevice on the tooth surface. The bacteria release toxins on ingesting the food substance. The toxins are acidic in nature. This leads to demineralization of the enamel and dentine, leading to what is commonly called as cavity. The biting surface of the back teeth are the most prone to this kind of carious attack, since the surface structure is very conducive to harboring food particles and bacteria. In fact, the earliest sign of dental decay are these pits and fissures on the biting surface which go black due to the caries. It is best to treat these lesions immediately. The treatment is to seal the pits and fissures after removing the decayed portions. Pit and fissure sealing can be done in just a single sitting and is a non-invasive procedure. If left untreated, the carious lesion will expand and grow deeper and wider. At times, it reaches the front and back sides of a molar. The decay also moves closer to the pulp of the tooth. Once the enamel is destroyed, the progress of further destruction in the dentine is more rapid. This is an advanced level of tooth destruction. But, it still can be treated and the decay process stopped. Your dentist will now have to do a restoration, commonly known as a filling. Earlier, these fillings were done with silver amalgam. But nowadays, special tooth-colored material called dental composite is widely used. Dental decay spreads and the cavity becomes larger. If at this point it is not arrested or treated, it destroys the tooth. It will then soon reach and invade the normally sealed and protected pulp of the tooth. Once the decay has breached the pulpal area, the treatment becomes more complicated. Even though very elaborate, it is still possible to treat such affected teeth with a root canal followed by a restoration or a crown. In case the tooth gets further destroyed, it may be necessary to build up the tooth and provide more support from the root part of the tooth with a procedure called as a post-core, subsequent to which the final restoration or crown is placed. If interventional action is still not taken, the caries will, at some point of time, completely destroy the entire crown portion of the tooth. At this point, there is no option but to remove the roots. There are three different ways the tooth can be replaced. A small removable denture can be made. The tooth can be replaced either using a dental bridge using two teeth as support. 
The third option would be placing an implant on which a tooth can be built.